Hey, Scott from Ron Francis Wiring. We're getting some questions on how to completely reprogram your Ford ECMs once you've installed one of our wiring kits. When it comes to the late model Fords, mostly 2005 and up, we do rely on this SCT X4 programming device as far as putting the program on your ECM that will allow you to run our wiring kit real easily. So I'm going to give you a step by step now on how to do that. Okay, so here we have our device hooked up. Uh, we have it on the bench with a good ECM and harness, and we've simulated uh, a vehicle install. Uh, this is our ignition switch, and we do have a power supply going to it. So uh, basically, uh, this device connects to the uh, OBD2 port that we supply with uh, our wiring kits. And uh, once this thing lights up, it's gonna be simulating uh, hooking up the battery. So if I turn our power supply on, if you uh, hooked your battery up and connected this device into the diagnostic port, this is what you'll see come up. So you have some options here on the main menu. Uh, you have program vehicle, uh, you have a gauges, uh, data log menu item, which is, uh, we're, we're not gonna go over too much. It basically shows um, some of the data that this device can pull out of the uh, ECM uh, to monitor different parameters. Uh, we have vehicle functions, which uh, is basically clearing codes and uh, checking for codes. You have um, vehicle info, uh, which is uh, give you the serial number, a VIN number uh, from the vehicle. Um, you have device info, which would be the serial number of the device and what it's programmed for. And then some device settings, which uh, basically you can affect uh, how the menus appear and the brightness and, and other, other functions available for this uh, programmer. So most important is gonna be the program vehicle. We're gonna go up to that and hit the uh, center enter button. And uh, it gives you a, uh, a emissions um, notice uh, for the state of California and you can hit continue past that. It's going to ask you to turn the key on, which we've simulated this toggle switch to be uh, our key switch. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Hit continue again. Now it's just thinking about uh, what we're doing and it's going to try to connect to the ECM. So this device would usually come with some preloaded tunes we always disable those because all of the preloaded tunes are not going to have the changes made necessary to use our wiring kit in your uh, early vehicle. Um, mainly like tur turning off the pats and the uh, emissions if you don't need to be emissions compliant in your area. So you're always going to want to go down to this available custom tune and you'll see this custom tune is for an FTV1 which is a calibration code. Uh, that you'd find on your ECM. When you purchase a programming device from us, that code will be equivalent to what you see on your ECM. So once you highlight the custom tune for uh, whatever your calibration code is, you'd hit enter again. And these are the adjustments available to you if you wanted to make them. Uh, mostly some more aggressive uh, spark timing. You can change actual ratios and tire sizes. Typically, you're going to want to just scroll through this and get to the approve down at the bottom. Oh, went a little too far. So you're going to hit approve. And it's going to ask you to confirm and continue. Now it's asking you to turn the key off, so we'll do that. And then turn the key back on again. And there we have it. It's starting to successfully uh, download the custom program onto your ECM. And the factory program on your ECM is now going to be stored on this device. And this device is going to be uh, paired to your ECM. So uh, the way we send these devices, you only have one license to program one vehicle or ECM and uh, that's how it works. So that was it step by step. 
Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, meanwhile, you can check us out on the web at ronfrancis.com or give us a call at 1-800-292-1940. Thanks for watching.